welcome to this panel on game-changing business models in healthcare. You'll be hearing today from two speakers who bring uh, unique experience uh, to the problems and some interesting perspectives uh, looking at uh, uh, challenges around uh, access and coordination, uh, cost and quality. On my immediate left, Roy Schoenberg, who's president and CEO of American Well Systems, which brought uh, introduced online healthcare two years ago and now uh, serves markets in the U.S. and internationally. Uh, when Roy describes American Well, I think you'll recognize the uh, fingerprints of his uh, formative years at the Beth Israel Deaconess Center for Clinical Computing, uh, where he studied web-based uh, web uh, medical informatics. On my far left, Nathan Espruth, who's the Vice President and General Manager of Procter & Gamble's FutureWorks Division, which is a um, entrepreneurial uh, new business uh, generator within the company, and uh, which has been moving broadly into the healthcare space in diagnostics and delivery recently. Um, Nathan has had leadership roles in innovation across the company, and in particular has brought Procter & Gamble's famous connect and develop uh, innovation strategy to uh, the, his work at FutureWorks. Um, I'm going to ask each of them to discuss their uh, businesses and the implications of the, their models uh, on the delivery of healthcare, and then we'll move right into uh, your questions. So, uh, Roy, why don't we begin with you? Sure, thank you. Um, thank you very much for uh, inviting us to speak here. There's a lot of echo, I can tell you. There's, it's very hard to sit here on the stage and hear anything that's going on, but hopefully you can hear me well. Um, so that's a, that's a big title. I mean, granted, game-changing business models in, in healthcare and healthcare delivery. Um, and maybe before we, we start, maybe it's a good thing to kind of figure out what's wrong with the game to begin with that we're trying to, to really change it. And very briefly, and this is an interesting audience to ask what's wrong with healthcare, but if you think about it, you know, access to healthcare is a big issue. We have 35 million people who don't have it, and I can tell you that the other ones that do aren't very happy about it. We have physicians who are complaining that their income is going down. They're not making enough money to cover for what they're doing. And maybe as a result of that, PCPs are becoming a rare breed of providers. It isn't getting any better when you go to seek specialty care. Specialty providers are hard to come by, hard to see, and they're not everywhere in the country. And if you're going to go to your last resort and go to the ER, 